Okay, good afternoon po ma'am. Uh, Miss Lipula Ong Yu and Thomas Kuda po. And ito po yung science experiment po. So, sa akin po yung rice, ito po ay hot or warm water. Sabi, sabi na lang po natin yung warm water dahil kasi kung hot, uusok po na marami. Warm water, ito po yung ginagamit sa tuyo sa kape, sa ganyan. Tapos ito po cold water. Ito na ang nagbabasa-basa na po dito masyado. Kasi ito po yung tap water or lukewarm, yung parang hindi po masyado maano. Masyado, malamig po unti dahil po kasi eh, ma, nasa, nasa posis po. Tap. Okay, let's get started na po. This is different types of temperature. I searched in the internet that this is about 32 Fahrenheit or maybe 30 Fahrenheit because it's been long since I got it out of the fridge. So let's just say this is 20, 32, 28 Fahrenheit. Then this is about hmm, 82, 82 to 60, 60 to 82 Fahrenheit. But I'm just gonna go with 80, 80 or about 70, about 70 and 80 Fahrenheit. Just about that range. It's not that hot, but it is pretty hot. If you drip down like this, it's not that hot. For but if you stay like this for a while, it, it will get hot. Okay. Now I'll, I'll be answering the questions. Please stand by. I'll be answering the questions now. What do you feel when you're when you put your hand, both hands, in the third bowl? Describe the sensation. The sens the sensation was pretty. Pretty fun, pretty fun, and tingly. It like tickles my flesh, but it generally make the makes my both hands cool down and stay at loop temper, loop warm temperature. And it's pretty weird on the hot one, on the hot hand when you, when I put my hands on hot water, then put it on lukewarm water. The sensation was pretty weird, if I say so. Like my skin was peeling off from the hot water and the uh, flesh was touching the water Num question number two do your hands feel the same the third ball why or why not mm, yes in but the first time when you dip it when you when the timer is up then you dip your hand you, you dip your both hands on the third ball it will generally feel kind of sting stingy or the skin will is like the skin was peeling off on the warm water the warm if you warm water then it feels like for me like it was touching my skin right here that what the water was pretty hot it wasn't warm water it was hot water I think <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty warm so. then on the cold water um, not uh, nothing changed about it it just became lukewarm water but it felt kind of stiff on moving it for moving it but it, I can still move it pretty fine um, when I put it on the lukewarm water, it cooled it off, and it's it's back to normal now. And number three, why do you think a thermometer should be used instead of a hands in measuring temperature? Um, this is basically self-explanatory because measuring with a temp thermometer is more accurate and more safer. For example, if you want to take the temperature of a boiling water, you don't you don't just use your hands and go gee. Then your hands will you will go to the hospital for one degree or second degree burn. De regarding on regarding on what kind of boiling water is it? If it's super hot water or something else. But generally, don't do it. It's not safe, and you'll probably get in, get to the hospital sooner or later. And about cold water, um, cold water is generally safe because ice baths are pretty safe. It's for health related issues like like weight loss or something like that for overall um, holistic medicine like going to ba ice baths or something like that but if something as cold when you're going to Antarctica then you put your hands on an ice you you have frostbites you have frostbite so measuring with a the thermometer is much safer and accurate than your hands you probably touch oh this is so cold this is probably one Fahrenheit six ten Fahrenheit 
20 Fahrenheit, 20, deg 20 degrees Fahrenheit, or when you're measuring warm water, boiling warm water, then you just yeet your hand inside the inside the pot and say, ah, this is degree. Uh,